Hi folks, my name's Rick Bell. I am a professor of history at the University of Maryland uh, on the East Coast, and I will be zooming into the West Coast in the middle of June to give a special talk on Juneteenth and what we commemorate on Juneteenth. And of course, what we commemorate on the new federal holiday of Juneteenth is the destruction of slavery in the Confederacy during the Civil War. And Juneteenth is an important prompt to make us think about how slavery was destroyed in the Confederacy and by whom. I think, you know, the conventional narrative is that uh, Lincoln did it with the scratch of a pen on a piece of paper known as the Emancipation Proclamation, which went into law uh, on January the 1st, 1863. And it is absolutely true that the Emancipation Proclamation is very important to the story of the destruction of slavery. But it's not the only part of the story, and Lincoln is not necessarily the only important actor. As I'm going to argue in this uh, special lecture, over the course of four years, enslaved people work to turn the Civil War into a freedom war. Slowly but surely, enslaved people were the ones pushing President Abraham Lincoln and his commanders in the field towards embracing emancipation as a war aim and to compel them to take the giant steps forward needed to abolish slavery once and for all. Lincoln didn't do that on his own. He was encouraged, lobbied, pushed by all sorts of people, enslaved people through their actions, notable among them. And on June 19th, 1865, the federal government finally met that objective, reaching Galveston, Texas with um, confirmation of the Emancipation Proclamation and declaring slavery dead across the Confederate States. And it's that momentous event that marks a new birth of freedom. And it's that process and transformation driven not just by Lincoln but also by enslaved people that is the occasion we now commemorate as Juneteenth. Looking forward to sharing much more with you about all of this when we see each other soon. Cheers.